Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time since I've had a video out. Um, we're just kind of hanging on right now, surviving. We have been in the process of opening our new shop, which is a bar and market in Winston-Salem, where we live. And it's been open for about a week now and we're like still in the process of getting everything ready. It's still kind of chaotic. So I just haven't had time to film anything at all. But today I have a chance to go thrifting. And so I'm just going to film like a chill thrifting video with you guys. And I'm going to, it's like thrift therapy. I'm just going to cleanse by thrifting. So we're going to go to a couple places and then I'm just going to see what I can find. I don't have a plan. I don't have any idea of what I'm looking for. I'm just going to see what I can find and then I'll show it to you guys at the end. So let's do it.
Yeah, to the bins. Four cars in a row rolling in. So I haven't been to the Goodwill bins. <laughs> packed. <laughs> How long has it been, Eric? Easily the longest. Easily since. like a month. Maybe more. Maybe more than a month that I, since I've been here. Let's not exaggerate. I'm not exaggerating. Okay. It's been a really long time. Okay. super bright out here but anyways Eric and I recently thrifted these bikes that we've been using to ride around in the place where we work where three doors is um, and I thrifted a bike basket for it so I want to show you what it looks like okay so these are the little bikes they're really cute red bikes and then this is the basket that I thrifted for it and I'm going to try and see if I can fit it on there that's gonna be so cute Okay, so I'm here in the far side of our new store, and we're not open yet. We open at 11. So I think I'm gonna just going to do a short thrift haul here, and then I'll go to the other side and show you a few of the other things I got. First of all, I found another adorable basket. I really like this one because I feel like it's the perfect size to put like a little wine bottle in. So I think that's what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to put it on our market side, and I'm going to stick a wine bottle in it. I think that'll be really cute. I'll show you guys if I end up doing that. And then I found these two things, and I'm honestly not sure what they are. They're, they're, it's almost just like a little pouch, like a rattan pouch, but I think it's really cute. And I found two of them, so I got them. This is all from the bins, so it was like super cheap anyway, so I figured I might as well get it, even though I'm not exactly sure what it is. Let me grab the other side. Okay, I also found, and I think I'm going to have these in the market side as well, these two like bunt cake pans, and they're definitely really old, and I like how kind of like beat up they are in a sense, like I like that they look really old and kind of like used, so I got these two from the bins as well, and I really like these, actually maybe these weren't from the bins, maybe these were from the retail store, but anyways, they're just like copper cake molds, like a little bug cake fruit cake molds and they make really cute decoration i might hang them on the other side and have them like hanging like that i really like those. those were two dollars for both of them and then this guy which i got from the retail store if i can remember the price i don't know but this is like kind of like a funny looking candle holder i feel like maybe there's something supposed to go in the middle here but i like the way that it looked i thought it was kind of fun and the three little mugs each of these is 50 cents and the thing that I liked about these is the little scalloped rim and then the black kind of like wine on the top that goes around the top. So I really like these and they've got a very faint stamp, definitely stoneware. It's like a little buffalo, I think is what it is. I'm assuming it's like some type of vintage like kitchenware. Yeah, that looks like buffalo to me. And it wasn't the last two things that I got besides that load of books that you guys saw was our this adorable little apron which has a stain <laughs> i'm realizing like a lot of stains it's super cute so i think i might try and take it home and wash it um because it's blue gingham and so it's adorable and then this was from the retail store this was three dollars and it's just a really cute basket perfect for like a little picnic basket setup type thing which is kind of what we're going for here in terms of like the food that we're selling very like picnicky um good for picnics and things like that so i think this will go on the market side as well thank you guys so much for watching this video i know that my uploads have been really chaotic and not consistent because we're just kind of in the middle of this huge transitional period with everything going on um but i appreciate you guys watching and i love you all and i'll see you in the next one bye